Oh my goodness. I'm so tired. I've been working so much lately. I haven't had time to do any vlogging or gym time or walking time or breathing time. <laughs> yeah, but here I am now. Um, really sleepy. I'm thinking about going for a little walk because I told myself to go for a walk every day. If, even if it feels painful in my head. Here I am once again broken up deep inside behind these hazel eyes. It's like, girl, you're, you're acting a little too crazy. I can't even focus on you. I understand that sentiment and I'm not sorry. <laughs> the one vlog that I still haven't posted from going in the underground caves in San Antonio, it's so epic and I need to post it. I need to edit it, but it just for some reason feels like such a load. Just letting y'all know that that will come eventually. I appreciate everyone who's been watching my videos. Um, especially consistently, I'm sure there are a few of you which I appreciate, so thank you so much. Also, I went to a 21 Pilots concert this week after work, and I bought tickets so last second. I'll explain it more, but here's some footage from the concert. I like to just wait to the very last second to buy any type of concert ticket just because I'm okay not going to concerts but at the same time I'm not okay so I try to chance it and I, I chance it to a point where I'm like god you know what if I meant to go then you will allow me to get cheap tickets right now last second that's pretty much what happened this girl was so sweet I, I bargain with people I bargain that is my my duty on Twitter when it comes to these sort of things I like to bargain that's what I need to do because I don't have money it's not like I'm trying to chip you out of your money it's that i literally don't have money she wanted should i say the amounts i think she wanted like 75 dollars for for two tickets and originally i just wanted one ticket but then i was like if i can get these tickets for cheap then i'll get two and i'll take my brother with me or someone i guess she wanted 75 dollars for each ticket and i thought she wanted 75 dollars for both tickets together that's what i read in my mind on twitter no she i guess she wanted for two and i told her you know what i, I can do 80 for two but i must have misread your tweet and she was like you know what it says you seem like a nice person i said oh i thought you meant for both i saw someone selling both for 75 dollars my bad but i can for sure do that much if you need the money the concert is about to start anyways yeah so it was very last second the opener started at seven it was almost seven it was like 10 till at that point it's like like what are you gonna do with your tickets are you gonna try to oversell them or are you just gonna like settle do you want to waste your tickets or do you want to help someone out she said somebody helped me once for concert tickets and sold them to me very cheap so i'm gonna pass on the kindness to you and she ended up selling me the tickets for 85 dollars tickets that are worth i think 150 dollars with fees each she sold me both for 85 dollars shout out to emily i really just explained all that man what's wrong with me i think i'm just prolonging my walk because i really just don't want to try it what I can do though is tomorrow morning go and walk and it make up what that's probably what I'm gonna do. Okay. But yeah, that concert was lit. For further vlogging content, I do wanna show these library whoa, 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 heavy. I wanna show these library books that I purchased? No. I rented? No. Checked out? Yes. Okay. I got this book called Coming Alive. Got this far in page 45 yep it's okay but the dialect i don't know the way they talk is is not conducive to my growth they label negative this negative weight as a uh, part x it's not a big deal 
but it messes with me a little bit because I read like the Bible and I, I know about like Satan's schemes and I know about um, just that spiritual battle and coming from that perspective it is it is different to see it labeled that way and not like given it, it a true true to me true to my beliefs um, kind of uh, justification I don't know if that's the right word it, it doesn't feel very justified in how it's being portrayed that that spiritual battle but anyways yeah I'm gonna return that Mod Podge yeah, I'm going to buy Mod Podge because I really just need my life improved by said product because, you know, it'd be hard out here. I I have these stickers on my car that they're actual stickers. They're not like decals. And it's kind of sad to see my stickers peeling. And I think if I just put Mod Podge on them... Um, they'd be okay. Yes, I need to buy some of that. Pop art. Yes, I haven't really read this much, but I love Roy Lichtenstein. I've painted my own little project when I was in high school. It's kind of, it's been through a lot. It has Andy Warhol. Those are the only two that I actually know. Some of these books are really cool just for your coffee table, which I don't have a coffee table at the moment, but in my mind, I do. <laughs> And then this one I have not opened really at all, but The Art of Agent Egypt. I think there's a lot of things I can learn from this, especially the way they build a pyramid and the way they set their like kings and their like pharaohs in the pyramid and how, I, I don't know if anyone's ever done any research on the purpose of like the pointiness and everything, but it is supposed to be a symbolism of like a spiritual ascension. So look it up. Look it up, and that's it. If you sat through all of that, I have to applaud you. I truly have to applaud you because who cares to listen to me talk about books? I'm not a book hauler. I'm not someone who, who does book hauls all the time. I barely read, but thank you for listening to that. That's, that's real. You're real.